Hello, hello, welcome everybody, and welcome back to another Community Planet Zoo stream. Uh, very excited to have you here, and very excited to make this a regular thing, and to have everybody here to have some fun together and enjoy all the Planet Zoo goodness. Um, while I've been sitting waiting, I've seen some familiar names in the chat. As always, it wouldn't be a Planet Zoo stream without our wonderful mods here, including Heather, always a fantastic help. We couldn't do what we do without her. Um, who else have we got here? Say hello to some people. Hello, Plastic Swans. See you in there. Um, hi, Between Two Gays, one of our influencers. Um, and they were on my first ever Frontier stream here with me, so I have a big soft spot for them. Um, so today, we're going to be taking a look at some workshop builds that we might end up placing into our community zoo project, the Plan Elk Zoo. Um, just so as it means that in our spare time before we come into the next stream I can get them placed and ready and instead we can spend the next stream working on more building together. Uh, but before we get into all of that I'm not going to do it alone. So I have a special guest with me here today, someone that I'm sure many of you know. We have Fran! Hi Fran! Hey! And I did remember to unmute you. So full <laughs> warning to everyone, I have to unmute and mute Fran between scenes. So if I do forget and you can't hear Fran at any point, please do let me know in the chat and I will fix it. <laughs> I'm very grateful that you remembered to unmute me out. That's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome to Planet Zoo stream. Thank you, my first ever one. Your first one. I'm sure there will be many yeah. more in the future. Are you excited to be here? I hope so. Yeah, of course. I'm really excited to see some of these community builds. I'm very, very excited to show you. So um, for anybody who is watching, just so you know, um, obviously it looks like me and Fran are beside each other. We are actually not. We are in separate rooms for COVID safety, but this is the magic of green screens. Um, so I will jump us on over and try and make sure I get the right one here. That was not the right one. This is the right one. Yay. Yay. Uh, so here we are. We are in a simple sandbox zoo and I have opened up just a plain test zoo um, for us to be able to place the workshop builds in and have a look at. Um, I'm going to be honest and admit that my bias has shown a little bit with the ones I've picked, but it's Plan Elk Zoo. It has to have a little bit of elk flair. Oh yeah, um, for sure. So I've got six blueprints for us to look at here today. Um, and... How about we do it this way? I have my little list of them. Why don't you pick a number between one and six and we will look at that one first. Oh, um, I'm going to go for my lucky number five. Your lucky number's five, my lucky number's two. Both of us oh. in the first first list that we've got. So <laughs> you picked the the most elt bias one of oh, them no. all. <laughs> so um, I had to. Anybody that knows anything about me knows that um, I, I had to I absolutely had to pick this one. Oh, of course you did. How could you have not? <laughs> it is me, after all. Let's make sure this is... So, let's get some daylight so we can see this better. Isn't it beautiful? That is stunning. <laughs> oh um, my gosh. So this is the Hobbit Shop Shell by Stardust on our workshop. You can find it if you look up Stardust Workshop. 
and the detailing. I'm going to need to put vendors in. Right now I have a vendor who doesn't have a job. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to need to add some stuff in. Uh, and I figured for a little market area, this could be perfect. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the sign as well. Right. I, I actually have I have this do I have this sign on my front door of my apartment. Uh, I've got a little wooden plaque that has this in the proper font um, and I've like wound uh, twine and ivy around it and that's mounted on my front door. I'm worried it might put the postman off. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure I'm sure the postman is a Lord of the Rings fan, I'm sure. I know two of my neighbours are because they've contacted me and said like they're a fan. But So you're already making friends. One great. sign. <laughs> but right let's take a look at some of this detailing in here i love the hanging wisteria oh absolutely stunning this is this is very pretty and such a good use of my friends the mossy rocks i was desperately wanting to place last time but we ended up picking against them oh that's a shame i'm sure we can incorporate them i mean you've incorporated them somewhere right now so perfect you got your way <laughs> i really like the fairy tale kind of style that a lot of people do with builds and you'll notice that in the bias with the ones i've picked this time okay that's my favorite so i think we're good <laughs> <laughs> perfect i'm glad to know we have similar tastes that oh, means yeah. if i'm ever off and i have to leave planet zoo in someone's capable hands i know it's in safe hands with you very safe hands with brand don't worry perfect. <laughs> but yeah i like the into the rooftop People have placed a bunch of the mossy rocks to make it look like it's textured into the tiles. That's a really nice use of that asset. And if we go down here, like just the boxes and the detailing on everything is just incredible. Oh my gosh, even the pine cones. Yeah, are right? Just... It's like so many tiny, tiny details in this build. I feel like you could look at this build for hours and still find new stuff to, to actually like see there's so much detail in it it just absolutely like takes my breath away how detailed some of our builders are in planet z community even the back not a detail missed oh, look at it i wish my house looked like this <laughs> <laughs> i have no doubt that one day your house will look like this. oh if i have the money you have no idea like <laughs> i've actually had multiple discussions with my dad about how feasible a circular door would be for installation and how difficult it would be to do i'm permanently tempted. if anyone could do it you could do it i could you see i could make it work with like a fake frame like this where it's actually a square door i feel like that that's easier yeah that makes sense and in the meantime you can always have it in plan out too i can I'm just living my dreams. That's what we're all doing. We're living our dreams through Planet Zoo. Honestly, my biggest dream would be to have a zoo. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Honestly, we should do a work trip. All of us visit a zoo together. I think that sounds ideal. Community work trip. Yeah. Community work trip. I'm on board. So, to go with this, I also have another little merchant stall. Because I thought they would make a cute little area together. And this is a build that since I first saw it, I have... <gasps> loved it i remember first seeing this build and just thinking it was the most stunning thing i'd ever seen like look how the, well they go together they go so well together so together, um, themed area. this is the traveling merchant build by wix um a frequent creator of ours and one that we have checked out so many of their builds and so impressive um so if you like it please do make sure to go onto the workshop and get them yourself but I just thought this would make a really cute little shopping area together. It's very mystical. They both have the very like little fairy tale merchant feel. But like, yeah. look at the detailing in the top storage area of this. I just, I, it blows me away every time when I see this. And the use of the foliage as well on the base is just impeccable. Right? It blends <sighs> so well into the area. I've literally just placed these beside each other and they, without even looking and they blend into each other already everything just it looks incredibly natural which i think is very impressive too hello <laughs> see even your vendor is excited to be there i would love to be able to get a gulpy from here this i love because this looks so much like my christmas wrapping um i am infamous for going far too hard on wrapping paper every christmas holiday to the point that i like dry my own fruit and 
like use that for decoration and like collect pine cones and get a bunch of foliage from outside and make like really intricate wreaths instead of bows and use them on all my Christmas presents. And that's what this gives me the vibe of. <laughs> I cannot imagine something more on brand. <laughs> I got, um, instead of tags for people's names, I got individual carved bits of wood and then like burned people's names into them. <laughs> Of course you did. Of course you can <laughs> wood burn in your spare time. Of course you do. Wood burning's not that hard. I don't have my wood burner anymore, so next year I'll maybe just write on them with Sharpie, which I don't oh, feel no. like has the same aesthetic, <laughs> but at least it still has the wood, so it, it works. I feel like by outing my Christmas wrapping habits, I make my choice in builds very obvious. <laughs> but... I see people oh, in the comments saying the that my oranges. wrapping is hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely hard mode wrapping. Thank you, Osric. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was going to zoom in and see some little details here. Oh, look, there's like a little basket. Oh. Very cute. This is kind of levitating in the air. That's my bad. I'm sorry. I got excited and placed it too early. It's just mystical, okay? <laughs> it's the magic floating traveling merchant. I see no issue. Wait, hold on. We'll fix it. Oh, you're just oh. you're just here now. You go away. Staff member was fired. Bye. Oh. Please leave. <laughs> just evaporate into the <laughs> It's the fact that she went, no, at the same time. I promise we're nicer to our staff. But it's fine. We're going to bring her back immediately. Right, let's actually make sure this is more in the floor this time. There we go. That's better. <laughs> People are saying that she's been snapped out of existence. <laughs> That's okay, we got a different vendor. It's fine. Yeah, see? She's back. It's all it's all fine. It's perfectly fine. You saw nothing. It's our little secret. So now we can look at the details here without them flowing in midair. Um, I love the use of the crests on the side oh, to make I didn't even tiny detail. Those. This is oh, such a goodness. clever use of being able to get like texture and tiling. Um, consistently, I would say that the zoo community manages to find ways to use assets that we did not expect. And yeah. like this for tiling, we probably could have predicted, but sometimes we see stuff and we're just like, how yeah. did you do this? Sometimes I'll be looking at builds and just be like, I don't what what is that and then i'll realize what asset it is and i'll just be like i would never in a million years would have thought of using it that way that's my aim with this building <laughs> project is to get to the point that maybe i do some stuff that's unexpected and i'm really proud of myself i have faith in you we're, we're gonna get there and then on the back we have these little tiles look at the little animal details <laughs> they're framing it on either side they're friends they're guarding the traveling merchant oh and the little candle oh adorable i think this area just looks like somewhere that'd be really nice to sit and enjoy while you're in your zoo i want to take a trip there now please please oh wix is in the chat hi wix um thank you for your build we are currently showing it off we're currently um, fawning over it we are fawning over it but it <laughs> deserves to be fawned over that's very true and at some point it will join the mystical world of plan out zoo So, to go along with these, we have a few more other builds that we're going to take a look at. Um, so, we have four left. Pick a number. Well, you said that your lucky number was two, so I think two. I like it, I like it. So, this next one I picked one because it matches and two because it was very on theme for today. Now I'm intrigued. It's also <gasps> way bigger than I expected. Oh my goodness. You can go over here. But it's adorable. The wings. It matches my dungarees. <laughs> it does. That's why I picked it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh my god. Uh, this is the bee statue by Humberta on the workshop. And as somebody that loves bees, and very much has a big save the bees mentality. This was too cute to pass up. I was so impressed by their foliage work, the layering, 
Even the stripes. I just... I genuinely don't understand how this was created. This one's incredible. I saw it and I was just like, that's impressive foliage work. Like, the way for the wings to work. I just, the wings, like, sometimes I'll, I'll like, be looking at builds and I'll just send them to, to the team and just capitalise one specific aspect, like, the wings in all capitals. And I feel like that's exactly what I would do for this build. Exactly. There is several people in the chat saying they've either used it before or making some uh, great puns. Uh, <laughs> it's me, Romano, said, let's not beat around the bush. This looks sick, <laughs> <laughs> which made me giggle. Um, Excellent. And Ivan is also pointing out that me matching my clothes to the builds of the stream is the most L thing I could possibly do. And you're right. However, I don't like that I've set that precedent. It's fine. We're going to make it a tradition. The biggest issue is that because I'm green screen, I've noticed that so many of my clothes that would be on brand have green in them. And if I wear them, I'm going to be see through. That's OK. Sometimes it's <laughs> worth it to be see through. <laughs> Sometimes it's worth it. I, uh, after the stream last week, we were actually talking about the fact that I quite often chaotically dye my hair and I can't dye it green anymore. It used to be half green. And if I show up one day and this whole chunk's green, all of a sudden I just won't have a forehead during the stream. <laughs> I think you should do it. Just do it with a temporary die and don't say anything and just join the stream. See what happens. <laughs> See what happens. What happens is half my head will be missing. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. We'll make it work. Um, but yeah, so in here, we've got all the hanging texture to be able to get this lovely drooping effect. But I just, I want to draw more attention to this individual placement to be able to make these B stripes because I just think this is so meticulously done and impressive. And the fact that they varied it, so as it gets towards the front with the head, they have the like slight pink blending to be able to make this ombre. Yeah, I was gonna say the actual like blending skills are insane considering they're flowers. And to be able to get the tufts around the wings, the oh. way that it looks like it's erupting, they have these reeds and I, I am in awe. I bow before thee. We, if you tuned into the community stream last week, you will be aware that my building skills are not up to this point yet. So I see stuff like this and I'm just... You'll get there. We'll get You'll be there. making topiary bees in no time. Instead of just placing that... One second here. We can, sh we can compare my capabilities. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh wait, I'm in the habitat one, I'm even on the nature tab. I hit the wrong tab. Here's my contribution. Hey, There's... at least you contributed. <laughs> That's my topiary building skills. Here's my contribution. Here's the in-game squirrel that's pre-built. <laughs> uh, but I feel like now the bee has a friend, a very out of scale friend. But a friend nonetheless. That's okay. Everybody needs a friend. <laughs> so there are a few people tuning in who have just joined in the chat asking where this came from. Um, all of the builds today you can find on our workshop. They are all community builds made by our amazing community creators that upload stuff for all of us. I'm going to be featuring a lot of different community builds in the Plan Elk community uh, project as we progress through it. And this particular bee statue is by Humberta. So you can check that out by going to their Steam Workshop and finding it there. You can also just search B statue and it will come up. So we have some amazing features here that we're going to get added to Plan Elk Zoo along the way. Um, but we need to be able to raise some money. And for that, we need a little donation box. Oh, how cute. Stick it here. Very so heavy on the theming this week, Look, for sure. <laughs> I have a bias. I have a little bit of a bias. <laughs> I like the fairy tale shtick. I think it's very pretty. Um, and I think that a lot of the community builds that we have that are that style are just stunning. Absolutely stunning. So I thought this was an incredibly, incredibly cool way to be able to hide a donation box and have it look a lot more natural in your zoo. I like um, I like this in real zoos as well, when 
the things that are various accessibility and usability functions for guests are blended into the natural environment um, yeah. to make it look like more of a feature. It's something that like theme parks and stuff do very well and zoos, depending on the zoo, can do pretty well. Um, but this is also floating because I did the thing again. <laughs> I get too excited. And then At I least you didn't have to fire anyone this time. <laughs> this time. <laughs> We're going to make that a tradition. We have to fire somebody every time. Let's get this look. But look how cute these all go together. We're making a little village. I actually can't wait to see how you put these in the community project. I'll do my best. I'll do my you'll, best. You'll be great, I'm sure. <laughs> if I struggle, that's what the community is there for, for tips. That's very true. I feel like the way to my heart is just to stick foliage on a ceiling. Like, yeah, yeah. That looks I would, like I would agree. <laughs> Actually, just foliage anywhere and everywhere, any surface. Excessive amounts of foliage and I'll fall yeah. in love with a project. <laughs> I think that's fair. I think that's, I think that's a reasonable way to be. It is one of the most fun things to do, though, is to when I'm sitting doing builds and like trying to work on improving my building skills, I get really, really into placing tons of tiny little foliage details. And I mentioned it in the last stream, but I have 1000% become that person that just is obsessed with rocks. Um, yeah, I have to say the rocks in Planet Zoo are just phenomenal. Right. And I feel like that's that's just part of the building procedure is you start by just placing some workshop builds and like a very basic habitat. And then all of a sudden you spent six hours placing bushes. But that's kind of the fun of it. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll start a build and then get really lost in like such an intricate detail like the foliage or placing rocks and then I'll realize that five hours have passed and I've literally made like one centimeters worth of build. Yeah and especially when you're making a sandbox because the scale is so huge yes. and you'll spend ages working on this tiny detail and then pan out and be like nobody's gonna even see it <laughs> but I That's know it's not there. True. We'll, we'll I know it. it's there. <laughs> That's half of the fun of it though because you it just feels so special to be able to put that much detail into a build, even if it's for something small. That's what kind of brings it all together. And that's what we yeah. love seeing in community builds is the level of detail people go to, like in some of the recreation builds where people mm. have taken real life places and meticulously recreated it. And it's just, I will never fail to be humbled by it. <laughs> it's a very humbling experience when someone's got like a scale recreation of a real life zoo that's like got reference pictures and you can't even tell which one is which yeah. Very so. <laughs> also for anybody wondering this is the donation well on the workshop by Wabba Bob uh, which when I picked Fran they went you didn't make this easy for yourself to say did you <laughs> <laughs> so I'm praying I said that right <laughs> <laughs> we'll um, add the names of all of the builds into the YouTube description box once we save this video down anyway, so you will get to see them all. Very much so. Later on, we will add them all. Um, mm. So if you're struggling to keep track, but you like some of these and you want to put them in your zoo, you, we will make them easy for you to find. Yeah, we promise. We're not going to gatekeep these. Absolutely not. We want <laughs> people to use these wonderful creations. Yeah. They stole my heart, and now they can steal your guest's heart too. Aww. <laughs> We're, all, we're constantly going for the like very wholesome vibes here, huh? Yeah. 100%. This is the most wholesome stream of the week, for sure, for everyone. Absolutely. We came in strong. So far, we've done we've done Pride. We've done storybooks. Now we're doing fairy tale, little workshop builds, happy little bees. It's like, every just... time you zoom out, I'm like, oh, the wings. I know. It's like, oh, look, pretty foliage. Oh yeah, we're visiting some merchants. Look at the bee. <laughs> he is the guardian of the merchants. Yeah, Watches I was going to say, them. it's lucky that it's a friendly bee because otherwise we'd be in trouble. Bees are always friendly. They need protected. That's true. Uh, I'm seeing lots more of our frequent community members coming into the stream. So hello to everybody that's coming in. Hi to Leaf. Uh, hi to, well, George is here. Let Fran know. Hey. <laughs> so I will grab our next one. So 
this is all very, very, very fairy tale, and no fairy tale mm. would be able to be begun without <gasps> a once it's upon a, a time entrance. Book. It's a storybook entrance. I made it levitate again, but I know it's <laughs> immediately, so you can't complain at me. Okay, but that vendor might complain. I'll just stick this on top of them, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you See, I didn't think it nothing. was going to get any worse than you just firing <laughs> someone, but apparently it can. It's our secret, nobody knows. Just never press play and then it'll be fine. Yeah. Just keep it paused. <laughs> they live there now. You think that this you think this is like a a little vendor window. We're gonna open this and it's just gonna be them inside it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the door to the they're the entertainment now. It's perfect. Um but this is a little miscellaneous entryway that you can use anywhere. And I was thinking this would be a really cute tunnel to lead into a little merchant area where we could have oh, all of this stuff. I love this. I love that somebody's actually made a storybook entrance, literally. It's the right. most perfect thing. This would be so perfect for if we made an exhibit for Lumi on the other side. <gasps> yes. For anyone that did not see uh, during the Europe pack, Fran wrote a wonderful story uh, about Lumi the Eurasian Lynx that has become a beloved character here, um, here on the team that works on Planet Zoo. And this would be perfect for leading to a Lynx exhibit. Well, now I'm going to demand that that happens. <laughs> I'll add it to my to-do list. I'll make sure you're, just... you're there for that one because you created Lumi. So you have to be there for his Planet Zoo creation as well. I will be there in every single stream until you do it. I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll, ta I'll take note. <laughs> I'll make sure I've taken note. <laughs> it's all the to-do list sealed in stone literally in stone because look at this stonework oh i see what you did there always here for your great segues that is but some great stonework to be fair it is right and they've managed to keep up with my obsessive love for foliage oh dear plant life everywhere and we don't have to worry about the fact that obviously like it's not sealed at the top but one that sounds like an excuse to put trees in it to me, so I have foliage over the top. Oh, yeah. And two, your guests are like this height, so they're not going to notice. It's fine. That's my I rule mean, in real life. I mean, the vendor might notice. <laughs> the vendor is there. There's no vendor. Okay, so there's no problems and everything's fine. Great. It's, it's completely fine. As I said, just, you saw just, nothing. Yeah. Stick some trees over the top, nothing happened. It's all good. <laughs> I need bigger trees. Let's find some like tall trees. Uh, this this one might work. Ah! <laughs> I need to turn off the snap. How did position snap? Yes? Yes. And then it doesn't matter if it sticks out the back, I just want the vibe right now. Yeah, this is just a trial run, it's fine. Yeah. We don't judge me when I'm just trying stuff out. That's what Sandbox is for. Exactly. We're all here to learn together. Ta da <gasps> I can definitely feel the vibes. See? And we'll be able to make it like this, and then your guests will I, I, love I have no idea what's happening here. Tree trunk. <laughs> Their guys will come through, walk into a tree trunk. That's part of the experience. It's part of the experience. And then they'll come out the other side. And then they'll be like, oh, look at the giant bee. And the tiny little squirrel. Do not forget your tiny little squirrel friend, please. I cannot forget the squirrel. I accidentally shot the camera forward, but... Let's visit the school. You got excited. It's fine. I, I get really excited every time I see the bee. It's so pretty. <laughs> oh, the little squirrel. Here's the real star of the show. <laughs> Everybody's workshop builds? Nah. Elle plays the squirrel. <laughs> and we are proud of them for doing that. <laughs> We're very proud of this squirrel. <laughs> it's amusing because I put this in the uh, habitat that I built 
in the zoo already as well. Mm -hmm. So now I feel like every week I'm going to have to place a squirrel. <laughs> it's going to become like, where's Waldo at the end? Oh, of yeah. going through Planet Zoo once I upload it and everybody trying to find all of yeah, the squirrels. Yeah, the squirrel. Yeah, I see no issue. <laughs> There'll just be hundreds of tiny topiary squirrels <laughs> lurking around. I have a fondness for them. I think that they look really like they're sweet to have as friends for whatever you've built. <laughs> I like that you're building yourself a tiny squirrel army. Shh. You're not meant to let people know my plans. We had a penguin army. Was it pe penguin army in the uh, Europe pack cozy stream? Yeah, that's because I took every single plushie I could find. <laughs> um, I remember walking past Tim's desk at one point and I just have like pajamas thrown over my shoulder and then like armfuls of penguin plushies. I like, could barely carry them because I'm also very small. Yeah. Um, and Tim just looked at me and was like, I don't want to know. <laughs> Yeah, none of us ask questions when Elle builds their armies now. You just accept it. Sometimes sometimes it's squirrel topiaries, sometimes it's penguins. Who knows what will be next? <laughs> just remind me never to get on your bad side. <laughs> Fine. Shh. What you don't know can't hurt you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Living in fear. Um, so, uh, uh, despite... What Heather may be saying in chat, I did not steal all of the penguin plushies. <laughs> there are many penguin plushies left. I don't uh, know. I haven't seen any for a while. <laughs> I have a penguin plushie that lives okay. on my bookshelf at home, but my cat keeps trying to steal it. Um, I keep having this problem where my cat has learnt how to scale my shelves, and that's where all my Planet Zoo plushies are. And he really likes plush toys, so he keeps trying to take them from me, and I'm like, please take any other plushie. <laughs> Yep, I'm having the exact same problem because I have mine on a bookshelf that I thought was too high for my cat to get to, but no, no. Same. <laughs> nope, there's just like me, you, cats stealing Planet Zoo plushies. <laughs> um, for anybody who's wondering though, this uh, particular one here, this build is the fairy tale book uh, by Targia. So again, we will put all of these in the description later so you can find them. Uh, you don't have to worry about taking notes or if you can't spell them just now, uh, you'll be able to come back and find them. But I can think of so many builds that this would be so good for. I've seen so many creators already who are working on very fantastical or even just very Europe themed areas. Yeah. Because a lot of the Europe assets have, because it was released during Christmas, there was quite that like old fashioned style of architecture that this would yeah. go very well with. Oh, for sure. And it goes very well with that whole kind of winter market vibe as well. Yes, except from the lush version. Well, maybe not that. It would match the buildings, though. Very yeah, much that's the buildings, though. Especially because, for instance, with Wix's Travelling Merchant, you have the crests and little tidbits like that that would go in really well. These shields and stuff here that match that set. So tiny details across each asset, but they can really pull an area together. And the last build that I've got to show off just now uh, fits the theme architecturally, but I was just thinking for all of this, when it's in an area, it might be a nice building to just kind of blend in. Ooh. And we will just rotate this. So this... <gasps> is a botanical vet. And this is a little staff area for you to have a vet in and get everything sorted. And I just- I love it. I think one, it's really beautiful, but two, it would be a really nice touch to add considering Frontier is based in Cambridge. And this is very much like what the Cambridge architectural style is like. It really is. And I thought oh. it would be a nice homage. Look at the wisteria. Right? And it's only very slightly floating this time, so... That's okay. We don't have to fire anyone today. Yeah, this one's fine. And then, yeah, it would match brilliantly because you've got the wisteria on the hobbit shell, hanging from the bee, blends in here. And I just think this would make a really lovely little mystical area in Plan Elt Zoo. I love it. The skill that it takes to build a reef like that. Both in real life and in Planet Zoo. <laughs> <laughs> the layering, <Yes>. Fine. <laughs> the texturing. I like the inclusion of little layers of tiles just to add in a bit of a break in the view of it and to hide some seams. 
very clever use of tiles. Such intricate details, but they really elevate it. Very much so. And it goes the whole way down to the fact that there's the greenhouses. All layered within it. I am here for that level of organisation, for sure. I like the fairy lights. I wish I had a little area in my garden that looked like this. I feel like it would be very relaxing. This is now my inspiration for my garden. <laughs> so we need trellises, we need ivy, we need string light. This does actually just sound like a bunch of stuff I would buy. I have a balcony <laughs> and this sounds like how I'm looking to decorate it. Perfect. We'll have matching gardens. It'll be fine. Perfect. We'll be able to celebrate summer in style. <laughs> oh, the little wheelbarrow. With the little crates. It makes it feel like this space is actually lived in. Mm -hmm. It makes it, it feel used in a good way. Yeah, for sure. That's why I really like like the weathering detail here on this asset. I think that it, all of the weathering on this, it makes it feel a lot more like this is a real zoo area. It's been lived in, it's been textured. The little flower boxes on the windowsill are so cute. They are so cute. Much better than me who just, um, when I was placing builds the other day, I discovered I'd placed stuff too close to the path. And so anytime I placed a bench, the bench now had a windowsill as a backrest. <laughs> <laughs> Not the most comfortable experience for your guests. That's fine. It's... It's a la carte. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Look, oh, I've fully admitted that most of my building experience has been in the career mode. I'm still learning Sadbox. I'm learning how to really find my creative flair. I um, mean, it takes a lot of skill. So, like, to see builds like this, we know what goes into it. It's a lot of time and effort. Very much, especially because I try and tune into various creator streams when they're mm -hmm. doing stuff every now and then, even if I'm just lurking. Um, yeah. Just to try and see the ways that people build and to learn from them. And then I sit there just in awe and baffled. And they do it so quickly. So, yeah. so quickly. That's always the thing that throws me. I'll like lurk in a creator's stream and then I'll go, I'll get really inspired and I'll open up Planet Zoo and I'll be like, how? This has taken me hours and I'm not even a fifth of the way close to what you just did in 10 minutes. Yep. I yep. consistently forget to lower things so they're in the floor. And Hadn't yet noticed. there's people who just make every, <laughs> like, they'll just have placed a whole, like, absolutely gorgeous exhibit in no time. And I'm, I'm there figuring out how to place, like, three trees to be able to create the aesthetic I want. But it comes with time. And that's what yeah. this stream is for. We're going to be doing this every week from now on. Uh, on Tuesdays, you'll be able to find one of us, probably me, here kicking about at the Frontier Studio, showing you off some wonderful Planet Zoo goodness. And sometimes I'll join in just to bug you. It'll be lovely. It's going to be great. I'm going to drag you on. We might have Jens or Tim on, maybe some of the devs on at some point. Um, we're all just going to have some fun and really get involved with all of our community and the wonderful things that you guys make and have you guys see some of the wonderful things that we're going to learn how to make. Uh, for anybody who is wondering, this uh, botanical vet is by Queenie. Um, and we will, of course, as we mentioned, be putting all of these in the description. But thank you to all of our creators who have put their stuff on the workshop that I have spent all of the morning perusing through and picking some favourites from. Here are some of the wonderful builds that I've picked that are going to be joining Plan Out Zoo and giving you an idea of maybe a little bit of my biased taste. I promise <laughs> I will not keep this bias up the whole time. But for the first little area I was building, I was like, it's too cute to pass up. Yeah. Plus and I'm sure you'll have themed areas anyway. Oh, absolutely. Um, for people that don't follow me on Twitter, which is completely fine, but one of our, one of my friends pointed out that I made a badger exhibit. My hair is black and white. And that maybe I should make every animal exhibit only black and white animals. <laughs> and I'm honestly tempted just have it thematic that it's black and white animals only we can have a whole range of them we can have a whole penguin area 
I see no issue. Black and white. It's very tempting to keep it on theme. <laughs> so we've got Plan Elt Zoo. Your first badger was El Tannin. Mm -hmm. And now they all match your hair. They all match my hair. And there's going to be an army of squirrels hidden throughout it. Perfect. Sounds like the most on-brand thing I've ever heard. Uh, Bold in the comments has said, or, and hear me out, what if we theme my hair to the animal instead? <gasps> <laughs> I like that idea even more. I just come in every week aggressively dyeing my hair to yeah. match every time. <laughs> Again, this would work if it wasn't for the fact that this could go horribly wrong with the green screen. <laughs> it's fine, we just won't have any green animals. Well, I think we could probably manage that, but like, what happens if the dye just messes up and it turns green by accident? <laughs> we will get you a colourful selection of backup wigs. I do do cosplay. We could probably make that work. See? Perfect. <laughs> uh, Osric is also pointing out that Paul will probably be very in favour of an army of killer squirrels. At no point did I say they're killer squirrels, but that does sound like Paul. Yeah, no, that, that pretty much does sound like Paul. Yeah. <laughs> I love that there's a tree coming out the back. Look, <laughs> we're not going to question my very chaotic, very fast tree placement. I say it with so much love. I'm not sure I could have even got the trees into there. Here, here. Oh, did you move it just for me? I'm gonna try. It's now not letting me. <laughs> no pressure, but I am basing my love for you on this. So. <laughs> There's no pressure. <laughs> Why will it not place again? There we go. Perfect. We'll fix the one that's. <laughs> <laughs> we can fix the one that's currently protruding as well, if it'll but let I me. But I love it. it. It's so immersive. <laughs> It's part of the experience. Please let me select this tree. This way. There we go. Why will you not let me select the tree? The tree wants to stay there. Apparently. Respect this, the tree's wishes. This one. Ha <laughs> ha No. It cannot beat me. <laughs> See, when you say things like that in that exact tone of voice, that's why people think they're killer squirrels. <laughs> I accidentally hit undo. Oh the no! The tree is—I hit undo it. The tree's just decided it wants to stay there. <laughs> I will listen to the tree's wishes, and believe in what the tree says. So it's a feature now. The guests just come on through, and then apparently yeet themselves into the sky. <laughs> come on through and they just dodge this. It's fine. Little, like, children can just go below it. It'll be fine. Maybe it'll flow traffic. Adults only this way, kids only this way. See, you've saved all of your guests from overcrowding. <laughs> um, I would like you to know that our chat has become almost exclusively puns. And it's now to be leaf in the tree. Yes. I'm, I'm not sure how we got there, but I fully support it. I think it's because I keep making puns. That's fair. Uh, which I do a lot. I am, in case you've not noticed, the Planet Zoo social feed. Um, I make a lot of animal puns. The fact that this stream has not just descended into puns already is shocking to me. There's been a few. Yeah. Can't spoil people with too many of them. <laughs> no, not another script. <laughs> I've decided that every workshop build deserves a squirrel. You get a squirrel, and you get a squirrel, and you get a squirrel. Every workshop build gets a squirrel. <laughs> they are my fa no, go away. They are my favorite asset. They're here to make sure you enjoy your zoo experience. This I'm one can go below the where this one's. <laughs> <laughs> this one just blocks the path entirely. Perfect. And then, <gasps> there's indoor detailing. You didn't show me the indoor. I didn't know. I was just pleasantly surprised. 
every time people do indoor areas, I am. Um... Look at all! Look at the detail! Oh my god. This was the best surprise. I'm very glad I decided to chaotically place topiary squirrels. Very happy with your choice. I know that people are saying this is just a vet clinic, and it is just a vet clinic, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be in awe with the fact that they put it in and I forgot. Which means I get to be excited about things that are in this game, because... I'm just astounded whenever anybody builds like this on the outside and then makes the inside actually functional. <laughs> yeah, anytime there's actually things inside of areas, I get really excited because yeah. I forget frequently. Yeah, um, I'll spend hours on a build and then it will just literally be like a shell. <laughs> same that's why i was really surprised that like one of these had a vendor because i was like i feel they expect people to have just uploaded a shell and not to have put one i forget there's I, I was building the other day and i spent a while building a like really nice little stall area and forgot to put a single stall in but good it's a learning curve i remembered at the end because i was like why is nothing happening here but it's a process it's now, fine I need, I need to decide where my last squirrel goes um, I think you should have it perched at the top of the wisteria. Up here? Yeah. Perfect. Not on the glass. No. It won't let me because it's going to the... Or do I just have to place twice for it in groups? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We're good. I also want one... <laughs> <sighs> my curse everything must be floating i wasn't complaining i was enjoying it no we will do this properly are you floating no your feet no. are inside it perfect where did my squirt get down here <laughs> Go in. Why must you forsake me so? <laughs> oh squirrel dear. says no, you don't get to place more squirrels. You've got to work on your squirrel discipline. You're going to control an entire army. Yeah, but they're, they're an army of squirrels that takes after me. Ah, so discipline does not live here. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> they are their own squirrels. And okay. I'm very proud of them. You should be. They have taken over the entirety <laughs> of these builds. They're making sure that they're okay. They're yeah, the guardians. They're, safe they're safeguarding the builds. I completely agree with you. So, before we head off, because we are nearly at the end of our time, I'm just going to quickly zoom over our builds again and remind you what builds we have and who they are from. And remember, you can find all of these on our workshop and we will put the links up later on so you can find them. But first off, we have this bee statue that has completely captured our heart. And this is by Humberta. You then have this donation well. This is by Wabbabob. You have the hobbit shell. And this is by Stardust. You have, there we go, this traveling merchant that's by Wix. You have our fairy tale book, which is by Targia. And lastly, you have this botanical vet by Queenie. Um, unfortunately, none of them come with squirrels, but you can place your own. That's the great thing about Planet Zoo is you can always place your own squirrels. <laughs> That is the best thing about Planet Zoo. <laughs> you can always place your own topiary squirrels. Exhibit animals, free building. Nope, it's the topiary squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> so before our next build, next time, I am going to take some time in Planet Zoo and get a couple of these in and flesh out the build a little bit more so as we can build again next week together. Um, so make sure you come back next week and tune in for all of that. But this build is just going to be left for the main time. Um, but that's back to just us two um, to say thank you to everyone for being here and joining us for another weekly Planet Zoo community stream. It has been great fun and I'm really excited to start doing this more and more frequently. 
Um, it's been amazing to see everyone in chat. Thank you so much for everybody who's been here, everybody who's been joining in. And thank you to Fran for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's been lovely to have you here and to go through some of these builds and get your opinions on them. And I will, of course, make sure to bring you in, especially when we do Lumi again in the future. Uh, that's what I demand at this point. So. <laughs> I would expect nothing less. <laughs> so um, we will say bye to Fran quickly. Bye. Bye. And that is so as I can make sure I have muted her properly. I didn't forget, guys. I didn't forget. Um, so thank you so much to everybody for being here and we will see you again next week. Bye.